Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2019, slot 1 DILR is based on stack bar graph. It says that the Ministry of Home Affairs is analyzing crimes committed by foreigners in different states and union territories. All cases refer to the ones registered against foreigners in 2016. So they are crimes against foreigners. The number of crimes are classified into three categories. One is IPC, which is denoted by blue. SLL which are denoted by red and other crimes for by green okay so it says for nine states union territories are shown in the figure below so these are nine states 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and these nine belong to the top 10 states right? these are among the top 10 states of the total number of cases registered the remaining state among the top 10 is west bengal where all 520 cases registered were SLL crimes. Now, this was an important information because one of the questions was based on this information and it is not presented in graphs. So, 520 SLL in West Bengal, that is another state. Okay, so we need to use this information and one more uh, table which is given to us and use it to find the answers. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, let's see this. The table below gives the ranks of 10 states above among all states and UTs of India. So, it is not just among these 10, but all states. In terms of number of cases registered in each of the three categories of crimes, a state union territory is given a rank R for a category of crimes if there are R minus 1 states having a larger number of cases registered in that category of crimes. So basically, if let's say a state is given rank 1, that means there is no state above it. If it is given rank 3, so that means there are two states above it. If it is given rank 6, that means there are five states which are above it. Okay. Now it is, you might see that there are some values which are same, like 3 and 3 are same. Okay. And... Uh, in this case, 4 and 4 are same. That means there are, like they are have equal number of crimes. So, if they have equal number of crimes, their rank will be same. Okay. So, let's say if there are uh, one state, state 1 has 20 crimes, state 2 has 18 crimes, state 3 has 18 crimes, state 4 has also has 18 crimes, state 5 has 17 crimes. So, state 1 will be given rank 1. These three states have one state ahead of them. So, they will be given rank 2 and the next state has 1, 2, 3, 4 ranks ahead of it. So, they will be rank 5. So, all these three states would have the same rank. So, this is how to interpret the same values given in the table. So, it gives an example also. If two states have the same number of cases and exactly three other UTs have larger number of cases registered in the same category, then both the states are given rank 4 in that category. So, rank 4 here means that there are three states above them. Now, not necessary they will be three different states. They can be same states also. Now, we will combine the table and uh, the graph to answer the questions. So, the first question is what is the rank of Kerala in the IPC crimes category? Now, if you look at the graph of Kerala in IPC crimes, which is uh, this one, it is behind Maharashtra and ahead of Telangana. Okay, so behind Maharashtra, ahead of Telangana. So, Maharashtra is ranked 3. Okay, so Kerala definitely will be ranked behind it and it has to be ahead of Telangana. Telangana is 6. Kerala, if you see, it is greater than Telangana and less than Maharashtra. So, Maharashtra is 3 and Telangana is 6. If you observe this table and the graph also, Karnataka and Maharashtra have the same ranks. So, Karnataka and Maharashtra, if you observe the crimes is also same. So, Kerala comes after these two states. Now, what does rank 3 indicate? for Karnataka and Maharashtra. That means there are two states which are ahead of Karnataka and Maharashtra. Then Karnataka and Maharashtra both have third ranks. So the next state Kerala would be rank 5 because there are two states ahead of Kerala and Maharashtra. Two states are Kerala and Maharashtra and then it is 5 and next is Telangana which is 6. 
so kerala will be ranked 5 it was all about choice between 4 and 5 and you need to think that if two states have the same ranking 3 so that means you have to skip 4 and mention 5 in the two states where the highest total number of cases are registered the ratio of the total number of cases in ipc crimes to the total number in sll crimes is closest to now this was a question where you needed the initial information about the last one that is west bengal has 520 cases in sll crimes if one did not pay attention to that information would have got this answer wrong so about delhi we have S west bengal which has 520 sll crimes okay so these are the top two states highest total is delhi and west bengal not delhi and karnataka so now the question becomes easy so we have to find ipc ratio sll now if you count uh, no need to count exact value we can just answer this question based on the options see in this sll is 520 so definitely a very large number as compared to others this is what somewhere around 35 and in 60s so roughly you can say 60s something in 60s and this is somewhere around in 550s right no need to calculate exact value so it is clearly one ratio 9 because all others are 19 ratio 20 one could easily eliminate the options not even reading the values was required so close to one ratio 9 it is saying closest to which of the following is definitely true about the ranks of state or union territories in the other crimes category so other crimes we need to talk about tamil nadu and puducherry so if you look at other crimes the green one clearly delhi is the first rank now we have to look at tamil nadu and puducherry okay delhi is 10 this line is 10 20 30 40 40 plus something so so around 43, definitely that high so puducherry if you look at this this value must be one the very thin graph and the total is 31 so 30 crimes in puducherry has 30 crimes in the other category and tamil nadu has 10 20 uh, like this is 20 this is 30 somewhere around 34 or 35 right so 34 or 35 crimes so to be precise it will be close to 34 very likely 34 so puducherry has 30 tamil nadu has 34 and other states are less than 30 okay and west bengal is sll so it does not have other crimes so definitely we have tamil nadu as rank 2 and puducherry as rank 3 so both the statements are true what is the sum of the ranks of delhi in the three categories of crimes so ipc definitely first others also first we need to find sll crimes now again one thing need to remember is west bengal has the highest number of sll crimes so west bengal is rank 1 if you observe karnataka karnataka is way higher than this value like just observation no need to calculate the values also so karnataka is 2 in sll now third rank there are several contenders one is maharashtra another is delhi of course and goa also now we will probably calculate these exact values and see which are the ones now if you look at this value this is 10 this is 20 so this comes slightly ahead of the midway mark so we can say 16 and this is exactly at 50 so we have 34 in maharashtra okay and then if you look at uh, this value this is somewhere around 27 okay 27 and this value is 61 so 34 here also delhi if we see this is somewhere around 64 less than 65 and this is 99 close to 99 so could be 35 but definitely not less than these if even if it is 34 even if it is 34 these would be equal like 34 34 34 and others are small like haryana cannot be that so others are smaller than that so even if it is equal here the debate is not about whether it is 35 or 34 it is about that it is not the first and second because karnataka is way higher 
even if it is equal it would get the third rank and if it was not equal then obviously if it is 35 then definitely it is at the third rank so it will be at the third rank and if you see these are fourth ranks given so definitely this is more than these two or what we can do is we can just observe goa and uh, maharashtra are given four ranks and delhi is ahead of them right delhi cannot be fourth because you do not find three states ahead of it so delhi has to be third and karnataka is already second and west bengal is first so even if you did not read the values you could have logically inferred that if delhi was fourth there have to be three states ahead which are not possible so delhi has to be third in this and hence the sum of ranks is 5.